Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Ty Mitchell. You host my channel, Mitchell 14, and I'm here doing a view of Insecure Season 4, Episode 6. This is not going to be a long review, but like I said, I appreciate everyone who has been watching my reviews and videos and commenting and liking and supporting my channel. I appreciate everyone. So if you're new to my channel, please continue to support. Help me get up there so I can continue to push out these reviews for you and continue giving you content. All right. This episode was all about Issa. Because, you know, after the break, the fallout between Issa and Molly, who's the two best friends, who the show is usually centered around those two. It's a breakup on those. So it's like their friendship is on the rocks right now. So right now we're seeing Issa's side. And I think next week they're going to show Molly side. So everyone, even though they're going to reconcile their friendship. Because they've been friends for a long time. And, but, you know, sometimes their friendship been like so give or take. One was this way and one is this way. And when the friendship that never changed, their friendship changes. That sometimes happens. Like when good friends have been together for a long time or friends that was together for convenience for a long time, they're used to one set of way. And then when you change that dynamic, then they start not liking it because it's like you start changing on me and you different. Then it's not this way. One was more superior. One was more inferior. Whatever, how you think, how you ever your dynamic was in your friendship, when that such thing shifts, then that thing, your friendship changes. And sometimes people get older, they get wiser, they probably get mature, or they get immature. It depends who the person you deal with. That it's hard to deal with that. So, I want, it's not really much that went on in the episode. I mean, you can talk about some things, so it won't be a long, drawn-out video. But I could talk about some things. So, Issa was in the bed. She was in the bed. I guess she couldn't sleep. And her mind was just going miles on 10. Like, it was running through it. It was running through it. She was thinking about so much. She was thinking about a lot of things that's happening. She think about amazing the fight on that Molly, the arguments that Molly stuff was saying to her. She was, was using that like she was being a user. She should grow up. You need to stop doing this and stop being the drama. All that stuff. She, all that stuff was going in her head. Now, she, did it and she couldn't sleep. So, she went through Facebook and... Despite everything that happened at the end, a lot of people praised her freaking event. They praised the block party. They said that the vendors was nice. They played that the artist was good. The food was good. They want to know when it's going to happen again. So they praised the thing. And nobody mentioned the end of the thing because most of the people left. So the video was mainly left by the time that Molly and Issa got at it. And nobody mentioned that. And it was, even the YouTube lady who said she didn't have a YouTube channel and she started one, she put something up there. So, while she's going through that, she also was getting voice messages from my brother Amar. Kelly called her. I think, who else called her? Somebody else called her. And she was just skipping through the text on the phone. She was clicking it off, clicking it off. Her mom called her. Clicking it off, clicking it off, clicking it off. And... She was not, she was going through it. So now she was like wondering what she going to do. Because she talked to herself in the mirror. That's the thing I used to miss in the first season. When she used to rap about herself. And then her mirror, her mirror self give her guidance. Or at least tell her what to do. What she supposed to be doing. But then her real self do the thing opposite. Or something that she ain't supposed to was told to do. So. And. Her real self said. Well you got to do you. Because she said reach out to Molly. She was, she was thinking about reaching out to Molly first. And the mirror stuff said, listen, why are you doing that? Why are you the oldest, the first one to reach out? And I think that's like a pattern that Issa has done. When something breaks down between her and Molly, Issa's the only one who first one who's trying to mend the friendship. And I guess that's what Molly was trying to do. And this thing, the dynamic, when Issa was so busy with the block party, she, she probably wasn't focused on the friendship as much. And so then all that to blow up. Now, I guess Molly is expecting, again, that Issa will be the first one to apologize. Which, I think she think that Issa was in the wrong. Which, Issa was not in the wrong. Because, at the end of the day, it was her event. And she was focused and preoccupied with something. As a friend, you should be supporting that. But that, but not freaking going at her and trying to fight her at her own event. Which, that was like low cold. That was low blow for me. And I did not like that at all. So... So Issa said, nah, I'm not doing that because, no, the mirror stuff said, don't do that because you will always be the first one to be doing that. Let her reach out to you if this is something serious. If she really wanted to mend this friendship, had she trying to be doing, I guess she should have reached out. 
But we'll see how that goes. Because I think usually Insecure have eight episodes. But I think they extend it to ten or, I don't know, fifteen. I don't know how many. But they, they extend, did extend the season this year. I think they said ten episodes. So we'll see how... Yeah, this is episode six, so we got four more to go, and we'll see how this goes between those two. But, um, yeah, so now she was thinking about what she going to do. She got to figure out herself, self-care, think about things. It's like that, because she knows she quit the job before, so now she got the block party. Maybe you continue to do block parties, maybe you continue to do events, maybe you continue to do, make, build up your profile, build out your things, build out your roller decks. Get the connection you have made through the plot party. So you can connect things. just like that. So that's what happened. So she had this newfound self that she cleared up. She cleared her house up. Which is nice. Sometimes when you clear your own personal space. It make you feel better. So she cleaned her place out. Then she said you know what. She needs to go to food shopping. She went food shopping. This pregnant lady was trying to get people to help her. She had much. And Issa decided to help. But to find out that all that stuff that it was so expensive and she wanted to keep for one thing, she was trying to rig it up. Her car declined. So I said, oh, she ain't got no money. She ain't got no funds. <laughs> Cause I remember she used up a lot of her money for the block party. So now it's like, okay, she had a lot of stuff. So that was that. So the lady said, it's okay. It was a thought. It was count. The gesture was um, commendable. So let's move forward. So that was that. And then an old guy missed the bus. And Issa tried to give him a ride. And Miller himself said, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. She went. And she went to give the guy a ride. And the guy was mad. Rude. I said, how you get somebody a car and demanded what they're supposed to do? Turn on the heat. Turn down the heat. Do this. Do that. Do that. Go up the road. Don't put my address in the GPS and go to the He was doing too much. Do too much. I said, if I'm giving you vibe, uh, uh, listen, listen. So that was that. It comes to the point that if she finally gave the guy a ride and um, gave the guy a ride to the destination. He went to see, I guess, his son because his the door opened. The guy said, "Oh, dad." So that was that. Then she went to a paint and sip class because she wanted to do something. I went there one time. Like my, I have a picture up there of um, paint and sip class. It was very nice. I love it. And I want to try that again, but I guess with this state of world right now, emergency be going on. I don't think we'll ever ever get to that point where we do a paint and sip class. It will probably be virtual, virtual. But I don't got the materials to do that virtual stuff to do it in my own house. But we'll see how that goes because I would love to go there again. I should have went there again before all this happened, but it is what it is. She went to paint and sip class and Kyla Pratt. I said, Oh, it's not Kyla Pratt. And you know she was in LA, so I said that was good. And then two hungry. Homegirls, they was in painting some classes for, um, last week or before she get married. And they was having a good time. They were sitting down and all stuff. And one of the girls forgot to bring the B on um, the bottle. So they was like, come on, it's B Y O B. Like, bring your old bottle. And she forgot that. So Issa decided to share with her thing, the girls. So she sat down with them. And they's kicking in, kind of and having a good time and having a good chat. To a point that one of the girls invited them to dinner, the bar, the restaurant where they was going to have some drinks. And not knowing that they had a bucket list, like things to do, and a scavenger hunt, whatever thing they were supposed to do, apparently they was going there and they were chill. And Issa was not going to go at first, but she said, no, I'll go. So the member said, go ahead, go, go. So they went there. And they had a dinner. One went to the bathroom. They went to the bathroom. Issa went to the bathroom. One. They was talking for a while. Because Issa asked Issa, what do you do? Because they were drunk and everything. They asked what you do. And they said she was trying to explain herself to the point that she was trying to make herself so good. Her life is all in shambles right now. She said she a cultural curator. That she a plug. Basically like a plug of L.A. If you know what's what, what's who, what's who. I'm the person you could go ask because I know what things at. I know how to hook you up. That's what it is. And they said, good. So one girl got to go to the bathroom. She said, good. They went to the bathroom. And I guess that was the rules to 
lure her away from the table so they could do what they did. They did a diner dash. They ordered them a lot of food and then they dipped out of her and let the friend pay, the last one who was available, pay. So she came out, the friend said, uh-uh. The lady gave her a thing and she was like, she saw the thing on the table and so they list. I said, oh, snap. I said, if you go do that, why you gonna leave that right there? So she saw it. So she, her son went in the car in the middle of the street and she saw the three ladies and her imagining herself, self, thinking that she would run up to them and then knock the thing in her head. And they said, what the hell are you doing? What's this? And she said, ah, I mean, you tried to get, get over me and stuff. And that was that. But she didn't actually do that. So she was going through all that. Kelly was kept calling her. Kelly was kept calling her. And she decided, you know what? Let me go and call her mom. She called her mom, went to Kel Robinson, and went to see her mom. Took up the shoes. And Issa was there. She said, you know, you know when you, your mom's knows and your parents know you well. When you know that you not, you not yourself. And you sad and you down and they know you something on your mind because Issa was there. She said, oh, things good. That's all. That's all right. And when the girl said, come here. Come here. Come here. And she said, what? Hugged up the daughter and Issa broke down crying. And then they had to sit down and talk. And then it's like, Issa said she's 30 years old and she, her life is, she don't even know what her, di her direction her life is going to be. She don't know where she will do, what she will want to be herself. She said her mom was 30. She had married a good career, two kids. She said, I didn't want y'all kids. She said, it was a mistake. She said, well, you had two of us and we not twins, so you had two mistakes. She said, yeah, I had two mistakes, but it was the best thing in my life and I made it work. But I just let you know that things not always will be as planned. You just gotta make sure how you work your stuff out and what direction you're trying to go. If you, if she said that, you, always, you have a lot of talent in you, Issa, and I've always been proud of you. And you do a good damn job with your talent. So use it well. And you figured it out. And I guess that's what Issa will do. If Issa did a good thing with this block party. Maybe she could do something else. The, ev the avenue that she said. Like she used the events. Maybe she could be a event planner. Like one of the girls said at the group. Event planner or something like that. That she could connect things in the, her own community. That's something that's been missing. That she wanted to do. So... Her mom gave her that, so she walked home. Kelly called. She finally called, called Kelly back. Oh, I forgot. Earlier in the episode, she called Nathan. And she piled out the next. She said, I don't think I want you to feel like I was using you. Nathan said, no, you wasn't using me. You needed for help, and I'm here to help you. That's what it was. I said, that's what exactly what it was. He helped her because she asked for help. So it wasn't meant to use because you use your connection when you do an event. That's how you do. You got to network. You're not going to know everyone. So you got to use your network skills. And... That was that. So Kelly said, are you going to talk to Molly? So you're never going to talk to again? Because when me, Tiffany had our little fallout, we thought we were never going to get back. But we sat down, we talking out, and we good now. Um, So she said, i always been the first one to always reach out to Molly. Not her reach out to me. She said, oh, well, so she never going to reach out to you. So the, the friendship's over. I said, I guess that's how it's going to be. That's going to be right now. So what's that? So the long story short, she went back home, and she was realizing, you know what, it is what it is. She getting herself together, she pumping herself out. She said, no one, let me go out to eat. She went out to eat, and then she saw Molly sitting at the same bar, restaurant that she was about to go in. And she was contemplating whether she should go in or not go in, not, because she was still feeling her friendship for Molly, still miss it, but at the same time, she got to realize that she can't be falling hands and feet on this girl. So she needs to figure out what she want to do. So she decided not to go in to talk to Molly, confront Molly, and be who she was. And that's how the episode ended. So, like I said, it's not going to be long. But I was like, wanted to give you some little thing about how Issa feeling. Like, Issa wanted to find her new direction. And sometimes, like with different people, like, you so lost and stuck in the stage. And you don't know what you want to do. Like me, I wanted to be something else. I want to be a school guy. kind of stuff. That didn't work out for me. But that didn't let, stop me from getting a good job that I have now. And I love it. So it's like, it's something your path will always not be the way you want it to be but you always gotta go what you can do and i'm very good for myself right now i'm very be self-sufficient and stuff like that and i'm 34 and i appreciate my life how i am right now so it is what it is i you can't compare and you can't 
be so hard on yourself. As long as you have the goals and you keep try, striving, you go get to that point. So that was Insecure, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to y'all later. The next video will be is Married to Medicine. Peace.